What's going on people? So as you see over here, I have a lot of shirts and I think it's all shirts that I picked up over the last uh, two or three weeks, something like that. Just kind of been letting them pile up until I had enough that made sense to do a video about. So here we are. Now the bulk of this is going to be from Pro Wrestling Tees because that's where I buy most of my shirts nowadays. But there's also some music stuff in here because Kings Road merch had a sale recently and well, I like to take advantage of sales if you're selling something that I like. So here we are, big old bunch of bags. So let's just go ahead and jump on into these and see what's in them. I mean, I do kind of remember a large chunk of what some of this stuff is, but I mean, there's a lot of bags over here and each one has like, you know, likely more than one thing in it for the most part. So let's see what we got going on here. It's that that down there. So this is going to be Alkaline Trio. I'm just going to sit this knife down. I don't know if anyone else out there is a big Alkaline Trio fan or not, but I am. So I guess that's all that really matters. This right here, this is from their most recent album, which I can't think of the name of. Is this thing cursed? Yeah. So this one came out, what, was it 2018 or 19? Can't quite remember. It's pretty solid though. I like it. So let's set that on over there. And then also from Alkaline Trio, we have this right here. So it's one of those hooded sweatshirt things. Flip that around so you can see the back of it and all that. Now, it's no secret, or maybe it is a secret, but I like to think it's not. But I'm not a big sleeve guy, right? So stuff like that, I don't wear it a lot, but every so often I find myself going out when it might be raining or snowing or whatever, and that's when those things come out. Otherwise, they just sit in the, in the back of the closet, or the top of the closet. And believe me, I've got, like, I've got a good number of them, you know what I mean? Because I like to be prepared. And they're all, they're mostly band ones, but I do have a couple of wrestling ones too. And so now, more band things. This is an anti-flag mask, right? Which I guess the mask season is kind of dying down nowadays, but they had a sale and it was one of those like buy two things to get like 15 or 20% off. So I bought this shirt, which you may remember seeing. I don't know if I've worn it in a review, but I've definitely done an unboxing of it. It's that wolves and wolves, sheep and sheep and wolves clothing, wolves and wolves clothing, something like that. I couldn't remember the album last time and I still can't, but it is good though. It really is. And so this, yeah, that was one of the things I figured, let me get something that's relatively cheap and that way I get my two item minimum and I get that discount. So that's how that happens. It's kind of like when, you know, you're shopping on like Nike, you know, oh, you gotta spend like Ardidas. I'm like, yeah, you gotta spend over $50 to get whatever discount. So you just like throw some socks in there or something and then there you go. I mean, assuming you need socks, I wouldn't just buy them if I didn't, you know, just saying. What is this? I have no idea. Oh, okay, bad religion. So, get to the top of this thing here. So, Bad Religion from the Against the Grain album, I believe, right? Yeah, Against the Grain. So, I've seen this shirt in a number of colorway styles over the years, but this one just kind of grabbed my attention. And that was also the first album of theirs that I ever really listened to. So, it's good to kind of finally have a shirt based on it, you know? And now, moving right along, another, another Bad Religion shirt. This one is from the No Control album. So I believe that's the one with you on it. You know, if you're a Tony Hawk guy, you know what I'm talking about. So also another solid album, but to be fair, I haven't heard anything from Bad Religion that I don't like. And, you know, because I was in the mask buying mood, another one of these things. So there you have the Bad Religion sign on the side. So there's that. This is kind of nice. It's kind of like a nylon-y sort of feel. It almost feels like these pants, at least on the outside and on the inside. So that's kind of nice. You know, it's always good to have some, some quality things. All right. There's a guitar right here where I normally just toss my thing, so I have to aim differently. So it's, so far I'm doing okay. So far. Let's see here. This looks like a Rise Against shirt, if I recall correctly. And and again, you know, you got to get that, that two item minimum thing. So I don't know when I'm going to wear all these things, but yeah, so this is just the standard rise against logo mask, right? 
Nothing too crazy about that. And then opening this up, this is the tank top of their Wolves album t-shirt. So there's that for you. I honestly don't remember much about this album. I probably could count how many times I listened to it. Not because there was anything wrong with it. It just kind of, for some reason, just kind of fell by the wayside for me. I mean, I own it. It's on my iPod and all that stuff. But I couldn't name a single song from it. I'm still going to say that it's probably a solid album and to check it out, you know? But yeah, I, I can't personally vouch for it. I haven't listened to their most recent one either, the one that came out like two weeks ago. And then I believe this is the last of them. This is, what is going on? Oh, it's got that piece up there for your nose or whatever. I was wondering why it felt weird. This is a, I was about to say Bad Religion. This is a Blink-182 mask. So there's that for you. Another band whose most recent album I never really got around to. California was solid, but that other one, I don't know. I listened to it once and then like nothing really grabbed my attention right up front. And then I just kind of forgot to go back to it. But I do like old Blink-182. I saw them in their original form back in, when was Reading? 2014? It's a big festival over in England, you know? I was like, yeah, these guys are pretty all right, you know? It wasn't my first time seeing them. And then I thought, all right, I gotta get going for whatever reason, I'm gonna go check out some other band. Wow, this thing is tough. It's like, okay, there we go. For some reason, like, the edges of these bags are just like, you're not getting in this. There we go. Now we're in. But yeah, I saw them and I was thinking, yeah, I'll check them out some more later. I'm sure they'll be on tour, you know. It's been a little while. Like, usually when bands start getting back together and like the summer comes around, you know, that's when they start doing all their tours. And then they broke up, kind of, sort of. So here we go. This right here. This has been sitting here for a long time. This is a New Jack shirt, right? So. You know, as you may know, New Jack did pass away like about a month ago or something. So that's unfortunate. Kind of, yeah, he was one of the ECW guys that I remember from, you know, initially watching that. And he, he really grabs your attention. If you've ever seen him in action, you, you know what I'm saying. So it was crazy. Like, you know, with a guy like that, you think almost like this is somehow going to live forever. All this crazy stuff he's been through. He's not dying. And then he did, which was sad. And then here's a shirt that you may have seen before. So every so often, I buy stuff that I already have. Sometimes it's because I forgot that I had it. And that's what happened just there. So what can you do, right? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You send that on down to your mom's house and then just add it to the, the vacation wardrobe. Because that's... That's what I do, you know? I go down there and I don't take stuff with me. I just show up, you know? I could show up naked if I wanted to. There's shoes, socks, everything. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Got a lot of crap down there. It's like a, what do you call it? Like an evacuation plan when I go down there sometimes. All right. But yeah, I had originally wanted to buy that shirt and I don't remember ever buying it. So that's why I bought it. But I was doing some research and it turns out that I had it, it wasn't in my order history because I actually bought it the one time I went to the store. Moving on to some more Pro Wrestling Tees shirts. That's what all these pink and white bags are. And this is actually a specific Pro Wrestling Tees shirt. If you can read Japanese, you probably know that. If you can't and you just recognize logos like me, then you know. Wait a second. Okay, that, I might have two of those. Cause uh, we'll see, we'll see what's in the rest of these bags. Cause Looking at this shirt, I see that this is an old, old package. Like, you see that? Like, this shirt came and went pretty quickly, probably some copyright type things or whatever. But I saw it and I was like, man, I, I gotta get that one. And I <laughs> I forgot that this happened. It was, it was a ridiculous moment, you know? I forget what he was trying to do, but oh man, it was, it was pretty good. And then one of these, another Pro Wrestling Tees chair magnet, so can never have enough of those. And now, let's see, let's see. This is a Hangman Page shirt. I have this one, but I have it in tank top form. So that's cool. I think, I wonder what's going on here. Like, I think I had bought these because I was going to have them sent to my mom's house and stuff. 
just the one from that. Let's see, is there a date on here? November 2019, Jesus Christ. November 2019 is when that package arrived, or at least when that order was made. And now there's something in this envelope here. Not sure what's going on with that. So let's, let's find out together, shall we? Looks like it's a poster of some sort. What is all this? So, oh, it must be one of those overstock things. So what is this? The Last Romance Pocket Knife. So that's a Silas Young thing. It's, wait a second. Ah, man. <clears throat> Looks like, oh, cool. I just got the notification that I got through the Adidas raffle for some Yeezys that came out today. They're like white and blue. So I'll have a review coming eventually. Normally I ignore these things when I'm in the middle of stuff like this, but not today. And then there's a sticker right here. What is this? This is all about me. I think it's that Tanel Dashwood. Yep, yep it is. So there's that. No work there. And then there's a poster that's from okay, from the Major Bros, it looks like. So what's this? Best of the Indies Part 2 Pro Wrestling Tees? Actually, no, that's not that. That is not who I thought it was. This is Adam or Kevin Steen, Adam Cole. So I don't know where they dug this thing up from, but that's pretty cool though. This one, I mean, I don't really hang up posters like this or whatever, but I kind of want to because it's pretty all right. All right, let's keep this train moving. I know this video is probably fairly long, but I bought a lot of stuff, you know? So what can you do? I would always, I've suggested it in the past and haven't done it lately, but I would suggest watching most of my videos at like the 2x because the way that I speak is generally like still easy enough to understand what I'm saying even when sped up and it makes them not as long. <clears throat> so hey, check it out. Another one of those little magnets. So that's pretty cool. And now pulling this thing out and a, an advertisement to have shirts made and stuff like that. If you're in the mood to have some shirts made, check with Pro Wrestling Tees. So here you have this. This is SUSD and it's done somewhat in a no effects sort of style if you're familiar with the logos they've had over the years. The somewhat distressed look and all that stuff kind of crammed together just a little bit. So that's what this is. Pretty cool shirt in my opinion. I saw it when it went up on sale. Well, not on sale sale, but when it became available, got a little email about it for obvious reasons. And strangely enough, when I saw it and I was like, oh, that's up there now, cool. And I went to go buy it and I was like, oh man, where's my coupon codes and stuff? Because I'm that's always the first thing I think about. And then I was like, you know what? This is going to a good cause, so why not just pay the full price? So I've, that's the one time in the last long time that I have paid full price on pro wrestling fees. But again, it's for a good cause, so whatever. Now, set this thing here for a second. Have a moment of truth here. This is more pro wrestling tees tees. So there's that for you, very much the same as the one that you see on me right now, just slightly different because the coloring and whatnot. Set that guy over to the side and Okay, somewhat dodged a bullet there. This is that shirt that I just showed you guys, but I showed it to you as a tank top this time. It's a t-shirt, so good. Good on me for being somewhat indecisive on when I buy stuff. Because normally it's always just tank top, tank top, tank top. But every so often I'm like, maybe I should get a shirt, a t-shirt, so I can like look like a, you know, respectful adult once in a while. This right here is a shirt that I need to reorder because this is the standard Gildan Ultra Cotton or whatever. You gotta go soft style, man, if you're gonna go with pro wrestling tees. Because these things, I mean, they're not terrible, but they're definitely like this, this, like these soft ones. That's where it's at, dude. Two turntables and a microphone, you know? All right. And then we have the PWFNT, right? So. I don't think I need to explain what this one is, and therefore I will not. That's empty. Put that over here. Man, this is this is a bit of a mess on this floor, people. Oh, 
I bought this not too long ago. It was Blue Mini's birthday. You may remember if you if you follow me on Legram. I actually made a post that day about Blue Mini because I happened to be wearing a BWO shirt and it happened to be his birthday. So I was like, oh, what do you know? What do you know? So this is a combination of the Job Squad and the BWO. So pretty cool. I'll have to break that out sooner or later, which is the thing that I always say. But, you know, it is what it is. You, you buy stuff because you want to wear it. And then you, sometimes you get a lot of stuff so some of it gets forgotten about and then rebought. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me problem. Does anybody else have that problem? Comment down below. And now, last, certainly not least, every week, Pro Wrestling Tees, they do their shirt of the week, right? Goes from Tuesday to Tuesday. A couple weeks ago, they did a Chris Jericho shirt, so that's what this is from his Lionheart days back in Mexico, I guess. But yeah, picked this thing up and it is pretty all right. You can definitely tell that is an old picture they based this off of. So, I, I'm a big Jericho guy, so I am looking forward to wearing that at some point. There we go. Are we good? We're done. Unless I have to check these and make sure there's no more magnets or whatever, but I'll do that later. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, go on ProWrestlingTees.com, buy some shirts. They're pretty nice. They got a whole plethora of options, even as far as like the different styles of the shirts, you know? I don't get paid to say this. I just feel like it's worth mentioning that you should buy quality shirts, not the crap that you get from other stores. That's it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say it is. Later, people.